In past videos, we've discussed habits and what steps to take if you want to grow and improve. We've even delved into micro habits and how to utilize them. The internet and our channel has a myriad of self-help, self-improvement books, podcasts, and videos to help this generation and our descendants probably twice over. Some of it is good solid advice, but there's also a small equal amount of dubious advice that you should take with a grain of salt. However, this video isn't about what and what not to do, rather it's an emphasis on one of the most overlooked facets of growth, our mindset. Growth, betterment, improvement, or whatever other synonym you wish to call it, always begins with your mind. Your mind is an incredibly powerful tool that can be used for growth or destruction. It is in the mental minefield that you will have the toughest battles. Why? Because often, the thing standing between you and your goals is your mindset and beliefs. So before you commit to a workout routine or any drastic changes, you must overcome it. The journey of self-growth is not easy. Your friends, family, emotional well-being, and job are just a few factors that can affect that journey. But despite these external factors, you will find that the most challenging moments are when you confront yourself. When you start to tackle years of bad habits, negative self-talk, negative self-image, and behaviors that no longer serve you, that is when the battle with your mind begins. During these moments, you'll want to revert back to more comforting ways of lowering your own expectations and to doubt yourself. It happens a lot. For example, if you miss a workout or you see someone doing better than you, you may feel defeated, lose motivation and start to doubt yourself, your progress and your abilities. You may even think that your goals are unreachable or unrealistic because of it. You start to slack off. What's worse is you may even start justifying your slacking and slip back into your old habits and behaviors, the same ones you are working so hard to get rid of. This happens more frequently than we'd like to admit, and it's not an external force that drives us to this point. It's our mindset. Why does this happen? Our brains love patterns and hate change. Patterns bring familiarity and comfort, whereas change brings unpredictability. Change is interpreted as a threat, yet sameness prevents growth. When you face a setback, you feel discomfort and find yourself feeling defeated when compared to others. In these moments, you have to think, do I care more about my temporary comfort or my long-term goal? And what will you do about it? If you miss a day or find that you are not performing or moving at the pace you hoped, what will you do? When confronted with our own inadequacies, failures or setbacks, many of us will want to run from them or whine and complain. But doing either of those things will not yield progress. This isn't to encourage you to suppress your feelings. That's not the solution either. Acknowledge your feelings and come up with a plan to overcome whatever caused them. It's easy to get bogged down and feel awful when faced with a problem, but this only magnifies your temporary problems and setbacks and allows them to swallow you whole. Allowing inconveniences and fleeting emotions to rule you means that your will and power are subject to your emotions. More concretely, it means that outside forces control you. As a result, change and growth will become very difficult because it will always be dependent on external factors rather than your own volition. So the question now becomes, how do you take control of your own mind? There are many practices to rule your thoughts. Mindfulness, journaling, meditation, and even practicing stoicism may help. Over centuries, people have all come up with different ways, but they all boil down to this, observation. Observe your thoughts, words, and actions. When you do so, you'll start to beat the battles with your mind and find yourself more capable than what you thought you were. Did you find this video helpful? What are some ways you've tried to help make your life better? Adopt a better mindset or fix certain problems you encountered? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. As always, thanks for watching.